Hey guys, my name is Marcus. Welcome to my channel. Alright, kamusta po kayo? So, huwag na tayo magpatumpik-tumpik pa. Let's do the unboxing of my newest phone. It's the Reno5 4G. Actually, this store, the mobile phone store, they offer me two types of Reno. The Reno5 4G and the Reno5 5G. But I'm more convinced with Reno5 4G. First, because it's cheaper. And believe it or not, guys, this camera, even though it's just 4G, is more upgraded than the 5G. Google it. But before anything else, I just want to flex this store, mobile phone store, for assisting me in choosing the best phone that I'm looking for. The Reno5 4G. And you know what, what I like about them is because they always put this Bible verse on their echo bag, on their freebies, on their store. Diba? Parang, bibi ka palang, feeling blessed ka na. What? So, huwag na tayo magpatumpik-tumpik pa. Let's do the unboxing. Let's diversionize you. What? Diversionize? Kidding. Okay, so a while ago they gave me an option whether I'm going to choose the black or the silver one. And guess what I choose? I'm fond of dark color. But because I always ended up losing my items, this time I choose light colors for change. Animo. <laughs> so what's inside is a black box. And then another black box. With flat rectangular shape. Let's see what's inside this box. So there you have it, manuals. Jelly case. Nice. Good thing Apple always offer a jelly case. At least you don't have to buy it, right? And then here you go. Here comes the highlight. Behold. The Reno5 4G. Alright, so let's fill it first. The filling is so smooth, except this one. So considering that it has four camera, this thing is the only protruding part here. But overall, it's smooth. And you see that? I see it in the camera. The gradient color shifts from one color to another. You see? Depends on the angle. Well, that's the good thing in choosing silver. Alright, so before we give in-depth discussion with the unit, let's proceed with the other accessories first. So here you have, there's a cord, a Type-C type C USB cord. Type-C and the USB cord. Is that right? As long as it is cord, it is cord, right? Of course, the adapter and headset or earphones. Or whatever you wanna call this. So wala lang intro intro. Open it natin. Tada! Oppo. One thing I don't like about Oppo is it takes you a minute before you go straight to the main screen. A few minutes later. You see? Tagal, di ba? You guys see it. As long as buttons are concerned, I can say that Reno 4 and Reno 5 are just the same. On the left side, these two buttons here. Oh. It's noisier. These are the volume button. And yeah, there's also a small hole on this side where you can use this pin. A three slot tray for two for nano size SIM card and one for micro SD memory card. So just in case you're not satisfied with its internal memory, you just have to put memory card on it. So we're done with the left side. Let's proceed to the right side. This button on the right side is the power button and the lock button. If you want to unlock it, you just have to click it. Here you go. Ta-da! Here go the home screen. So at the bottom of the phone, you'll find a hole for 3.5 millimeters audio jack, the primary microphone, a Type-C USB port, and the loudspeaker. And here we got the secondary microphone at the upper part of the cell phone. Low but now. So at the back, you'll able to see four cameras. One of these cameras is 64 megapixels. That's the reason why I choose Reno5 4G. You know me, camera is my priority. Okay, so speak of camera, let's try it. Here you go. So this is the back of the Reno5, while this is the front cam of the Reno5. Isn't it amazing? Amazing. Okay, okay. So I guess that's it for my unboxing episode. Thank you for joining me unboxing my new phone. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is Marcus Damon signing out.